So I should probably cut a little promo and put it at the beginning of the video. I forgot to do it. Uh, I'm going to be live tonight. Uh, it, it, there's time zone things going on. So I'm guessing we're going to go live at 8. I might go live a little bit early just to kind of get the ball rolling and to kind of get people in the chat and everything and to, and to kind of go over the events of yesterday and to see where the fuck things have gone today. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out, but we're shooting for eight. I'm going to be interviewing Faggy O Joe and his mom. <laughs> they were at the shit that went on on the 6th. They were at the rally. They went to the protest. They did not go into the Capitol. So, you know, there, there you go with that. Um, But they were there. And so we're going to be trying to figure out what exactly the mood was like, where exactly the mood turned, how it turned, how far into the crowd itself it turned, right? Because it wasn't like thousands of people went into the fucking Capitol building. It was a couple hundred. So not everybody fucking lost their mind. <laughs> but yeah, just to kind of see what it, what his emotional state, you know, their emotional states were, since we're going to be talking to two people, um, you know, and to kind of... Figure out what what the fuck happened there exactly. Get a better look, a more inside, in-depth look of it. So, hey, it should be fun tonight. Everybody come around. It's about 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, I think. We're trying to, I think it's 7 o'clock his time. So I think that's 8 o'clock my time. So, whatever. We're going to be at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock Eastern. 7 o'clock Central. <laughs> I think. Whatever. 6 o'clock Pacific. <laughs> All right, there you go. Now the video. So, if, what, the sixth was a thousand years of darkness day one. It's the ninth, so it's six, seven, eight, day four now. Things are moving much faster than I honestly thought they would, but as fast as I jokingly said they probably would. Um, last night, Donald Trump and a whole lot of other people were cleared off of social media, right? And everybody started going, well, fuck that. We're going to go to parlay then. And so Apple said parlay has 24 hours to essentially give up their section 2 230 protection and make themselves a publisher or we're going to remove them from our services and Google said ah, fuck that we're just gonna take it out this <laughs> is like they announced the same thing but then just removed it anyways so, <clears throat> parlor, par, par, whatever the fuck it is, that's done now. That's gone. So, the social media sweep has begun. <laughs> like, the Section 230 thing is, you're either a publisher, which means that you editorialize the things that are on your platform, right? You have control of that shit. Newspapers, they're publishers. You know, they have editors and stuff like that. They decide what's going to go in the newspaper. A platform is just the place that's open for people to put whatever the fuck they want. As a platform, you're not responsible for what people post. As a publisher, you are. Right? So, if you want to be a platform, you just kind of have to let everything that falls outside of the purview of the law go like there's again we have freedom of speech but you can't do and say certain fucking things you can't scream fire in a movie theater could cause panic hurt people blah 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 you can't threaten people blah 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 that kind of shit right you cannot break the law on a platform just like you can't break the law anywhere fucking else but beyond breaking the law you should be able to say whatever the fuck you want 
If you want to come up with crazy wackiness, come up with crazy wackiness. And if people fucking fall into the crazy wackiness, honestly, that's their own fucking stupid fault. Of course. Eh. Anyways. <clears throat> so, the uh, internet has started to slowly shut everybody down. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, like... At this point, I don't even know, like, what we do. It's Google and, and all that shit. Like, I don't really entirely know exactly how the internet works in that respect. If Google just decides to shut down everything that they don't like and they don't fucking care, like, what is to stop them from just doing that? Like, it, as far as I am aware, they just control the internet. Like, that's how my mind wraps around it because I don't fucking know beyond that. So, I don't know exactly how that all works. I don't know if there's any way any that anyone can do anything. Like, I might just be fucked. I have no clue. So, because it seems like every time somebody starts something, that they're like, this is a free and open platform. Google says, you have to be a publisher or we're going to shut you down. And they go, we want to be a platform. And they go, all right. And then they shut them down. Like, so I don't... What do we do? You know, do we create a whole new fucking internet? Like, I, I, I don't know. Anyways. So, yeah. Um, Nancy wants to impeach the president. Can't have him be in office even 11 more days. Fucking craziness. How could we possibly do that? And uh, she went to the military. She went to she went to military dudes and generals and was like, I would like for you to not follow any commands that Donald Trump might give. And they said, Bam, you're asking us to do a military coup. And she went, No. I'm asking you to not listen to the president. And he goes, Yeah, that's a military coup. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> like for you, you idiot! I'm not gonna do that. Like, so I, I don't know. Is anybody like? I have people that support the left and the things that they do in my audience, and I have to wonder: Is this the type of thing that you're okay with? The man's not even president yet. All of this shit hasn't even been fucking sworn in yet. Nancy's already tried a military coup. Right? And all of this shit is because a bunch of assholes stormed into the fucking building violently. One motherfucker caved in a cop's head with a fucking fire extinguisher. Because of some disgusting behavior which was one, one millionth of the disgusting behavior we saw all summer long. All because of that. Now the Democrats have just decided, well, I'm going to use that as a reason to take over now. Because why the fuck should we have to wait? We got to do it now. <laughs> So, do you lefties in the audience, do you support Nancy's attempted military coup? Do you, in even the slightest way, think that perhaps the thought that the president who has not started a war, attempted to end the war that we're in, pulled out as many troops as humanly possible, um, has started four, he's up to four peace treaties now, has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize fucking 20 goddamn times, whatever it is. Um, you, you think that that guy is going to be the one who's all of a sudden going to go, well, I lost, let's start launching nukes. The most peaceful president we've had in my lifetime. And you think he's just going to randomly start tossing nukes. You people.
people really are fucking unhinged. You really are fucking unhinged. There has been zero indication of that even being a fucking thing. And every indication of that never fucking happening. So... <laughs> no, I think after, especially after, because look, here, here's the thing. Donald Trump has a rally. He says some things that were not wise. He phrases things very improperly. And of course, as I've been saying since like my second month on YouTube doing this shit, it's you, the audience. You're the problem, right? It's the people chanting, send them home. They were the problem. It really wasn't Donald Trump's tweet. Why don't you go back to where you fucking came from and fix all the problems there, then come back here and tell us how to do it. Like, he's not suggesting they go back and stay. He's asking them to fucking come up with good, brilliant ideas, and while you're at it, why don't you help other places? Like, you can, you can twist that a whole million fucking ways if you really want to. But, when the crowd starts chanting, send them home, mm, the problem is you, the audience, at that point. And when Donald Trump says you should go to the Capitol and protest and make your voice heard and it'll be wild, right? Again, the audience becomes the problem when they go, yeah, let's break windows and fucking spray paint shit and steal everybody's laptops. And there's cops trying to stop us from doing illegal shit. Let's fucking beat them up and grab that fire extinguisher and let's cave this motherfucker's head in. So here we go again. But <clears throat> that all happens. And as fucking abhorrent as every square inch of it is, everybody, like George Floyd, everybody was on the same page. Everybody was like, that was some bullshit. There were people that were like, oh, I don't know, it was a setup. And you had to come up with every fucking excuse you possibly could to just make an excuse. Fuck off. It was wrong. Whether it was Antifa or not, that was why I said, you know, they're, they're going to arrest them all. They're, they've arrested, like, I don't even know how many of them, a bunch of them so far. The dude that was photographed carrying around the fucking podium, nicked him. Fucking, they grabbed the asshole that was sitting behind Nancy's desk. They grabbed this asshole. They grabbed motherfuckers up. And yeah, they found a BLM protester. He was part of it too. But they're against the government. So, what a surprise. Like, yeah. So, okay. But it was a bunch of Trump support. It was a bunch of dumb people. Got caught up in the fucking mood. And led by one asshole who said, hey, let's break in. And then a bunch of other people said, fuck yeah! And... So Donald Trump... Oh, after that, he's like, alright, look, I'm, it's done. Just fucking, it's done. I, you idiots cannot fucking... It's done. It's over. I lost. There will be a peaceful transition of power. I'm getting out on the 20th. Fuck it. It's, it's done. And a whole bunch of people in the cabinet were like, all right, fucking fuck this. I ain't going to be attached to this shit. A whole lot of people surrounding Trump were like, I ain't going to be attached to this. Fox started to really fucking hammer Trump after that because it was like, dude, fuck it. It looks really goddamn bad. It's another one of those things. It looks extremely bad. Is it his fault? No. Is it the audience's fault? Fuck yeah. Those idiots that decided to break in, it's every one of their faults. They decided to misunderstand what he said or to just fucking do it. Who fucking knows what the fuck was going on in their minds, but they just did it. And because of all of that, it's sure you want to shut everything down. And because of all that, the left went even more insane. 
And they said, well, they've been threatening that we're just going to take over and be tyrants. So, fuck it, let's do it. Because he's getting, he's getting riots started up to try and put us down in our insurrection. So, no, he's trying to insurrection our insurrection. He's trying to coup our coup. And we can't coup a coup. You can't coup our coup. Fuck you. <laughs> so now they're trying to coup the president. Who has 11 days left? They can't even just wait. <laughs> the man said, all right, fuck it. You guys are crazy. I'm, I'm done with this whole fucking thing. And then you guys went more crazy. So now the internet is shutting down Donald Trump and everybody that supports him. Everybody that supports him that it was like, look, I was here just to do good things for the people. And now the people are fucking, everybody's losing their goddamn minds. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking out. All those people are like, Arr. so they're all cutting ties and it's just fucking chaos. And Nancy Pelosi wants to stage a coup. <laughs> the military guys said, no, little lady, I ain't going to stage a coup for you. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are both calling it racism that everybody wasn't killed if if it was all black people everybody would have been killed so everybody should have been killed or or who fucking knows what it is that they're trying to do with that ah, but they ain't making shit better <laughs> day four we're in for a thousand years of this and we're only on day four